Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again, Scorpio. Can we read their mind? Yes, we will try. Okay, and just to be clear, let's set the intention here that we are trying to do that with the idea of understanding, you know what, this connection better. Understanding your, you know what, significant suspect prospect, if you will, better. My tools for doing that are going to be a map. Okay, 12 cards are the makers of this map. They are areas of life. The way I'm going to begin is random. I will use a 12-sided dice to pull four areas that want to jump out and say something about what this, you know what, love prospect of yours or love connection may be going through. We'll be practical, guys. A lot of times I will adopt their viewpoint, okay? A lot of times I may say, hey, now I understand this. A lot of times I will say, you know what, you should poke for more questions and more answers. Let's go, Scorpio. We have number four, so that's, you know what, uh, home and family life. I'm looking to pull four uh, first cards. Number four again. The number is eight, transformations, okay. You're familiar with that number. And this is a six, so this is work life. The dots usually on the bottom. And last but not least, we have, that became six again, seven. Okay, marriages and partnerships, okay. So now let's see. <clears throat> of course, initial messages, I try to ah, paint a picture, an incomplete picture. And then as we turn, we try to under understand more and more. Home and family life, a three of cups. This is an evolving, you know what, uh, area, okay? Uh, there are thoughts, there are considerations. Um, soon to have, soon to have a some kind of a stability though around that thought, around this area of life. So is it about a place we are living? Is it about an improvement we are doing? There's something there. Now, I take this to a uh, partnership as well with you. So I look at the idea of family life that is evolving. And that's going to lead me to say, I wonder how they think. I wonder how they, you know what, consider the idea of the romantic partnership together, especially while I glance at the marriage uh, position here and I see the chariot. This is something that is someone who's being ready, someone who's preparing for taking off, if you will. Now, Scorpio, we glance also at their day-to-day uh, -day services and chores, shall we say work life, but it's not only about work life. If we're trying to understand them, it's also their ability to set up, you know, what productivity routines. This is day-to-day um, -day services and chores, but that could be how, you know, indicative of what they will be as a parent, how they will take on the daily responsibilities, etc., etc. Now, obviously, we're doing a general reading. So for the most part, I'm puzzling here things that are, you know what, uh, clear. And this appears quite clear. That's an established, happy routine. Um, so knock on wood, hopefully they are well established in what they do at work to a point where they also consider growth. So position seven is for the most part marriages, but also partnerships. Is this someone engaged in, involved with some kind of a business partnership? That can also give us that kind of um, indication, implication, if you will. All right, transformation. Well, they're looking to change something. They're looking for new ideas to be acted on. So a busy mind in a way, but really stable in different, uh, you know, what areas as they consider growth, as they consider the concept of a home, the idea of family, and shall we say together. Okay, let's now turn the rest of the cards and see what we got for personality. And here we have our 10 of cups. Okay, and for values, we have our six of coins. This is the beauty of the Spanish tarot, guys. It's a Marseille and it has some Spanish writing, okay? Thinking and communication, we have the star, we have enlightenment, we have alignment, we have revelations, we have inspiration, okay? Romance, we're thinking sharp. Those two are related. That's a three of swords and that's a three of cups. You know what? After the three of swords, I feel like I always need to explain the three of swords. Okay. After the three of swords will come a four. Will come a four when the idea is solid. So when I'm in three of swords mode, it does not mean heartbreak. It means I'm about to make up, you know what, something um, for the long term. I'm about to make a decision. I'm about to have a complete thought form. So it's creativity okay, from a high level rational thinker, if you will, that should not scare us, okay, 
Um, philosophy, alrighty, and we have the Tower moment. It's interesting. So there is higher learning, if you will, spiritual learning, if you will, and they have this fundamental changes there. And in other areas of learning, if you want to say this is up to maybe university or so, they also have a moment of revelation, Scorpio. Interesting. Okay, status and achievement. And we're going to go back, guys. We have an eight of cups here. We have, you know what, the element of advancement. They're happy with what they are doing. Social life, we have the high priestess. Okay, something you are familiar with, Scorpio. <laughs> it's an energy you can deal with. It's an energy we may not like dealing with, but we can understand. A little secretive, maybe, maybe. Okay, hidden feelings. And we have the, oh, okay. The high priest. It's interesting how in the Spanish there they put him as the high priest. Call him the high priest. Call him Lee. Lee. Call him <laughs> the uh, hierophant or the pope. But the energy is, in a way, secretive. The energy is. Once they called him the high priest, now I'm going to have to say we're a little bit secretive. Okay? That's that persona. They have a few things happening around wor work that keep them busy in terms of thought process, in terms of presentation, well, they will present as romantic. They will present as, you know what, with a full vision of what they like to do. They almost have, um, you know what, their opinions made up on things they want to see in a relationship. Now, values-wise, I see someone who is also, in a way, quite organized, okay? They understand what matters more, and they will take steps based on that, again. Put together set of thoughts, set of beliefs, um, and then they also continue, if you will, to seek additional knowledge, to seek better ways of maybe communicating or, or this, you may like that, understanding you. So at times, the star moment, again, may look like a hermit moment. Someone is alone, but really, they're trying to get aligned. They're trying to really, truly, truly find ways on their side. Um, from their, shall we say, own manual as to how best to communicate and connect. Now, uh, those moments, sometimes they may take a while, and that could be also an irritant if we're not communicating that. So Scorpio, communicate that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, there's the element of an idealist here, guys. Look at the three cards we have that have water, okay? An idealist, a ten of cups, a three of cups, a eight of cups. And then we have the high priestess, and then we have the priest. So, um, shall we say, not very bold energies, okay? In terms of their outlook on um, philosophy, there are changes of thought. There are changes of thought. And when I say philosophy, I'm speaking about the reason we're together. Is it because I like your hair, or is it because I love your soul? I'm speaking about, you know, what's more important in life. Is it that we went to the party and we even got invited? Or is it the car and how we looked when the valet was picking, you know, the keys and blah, blah, blah. In a way, in a way, that kind of um, area of life is really being revived. So I see that and then I look at the star and then I say, okay, they're in need of moments of, shall we say, realignment, reassurance. Some part is on their side, guys. There's a lot of feelings here. And you are not, you know what, a stranger to dealing with someone with deep feelings. As far as the commitment goes, getting ready. Okay. But why have we not moved? Will we move? I believe so. I see just a little bit of clarity here on what the future may take also. There's a page of swords here in terms of how we may make a transformation. The road has to be clear. There are some feelings that we are checking in on, okay? Um, advancement overall in terms of <clears throat> their outlook on their success. They're positive. We have an eight of cups here. Now, social life and the area of hidden feelings. Well, in social life, we have the element of, I may not be so engaging. You know what? I trust after a while. I may not be as open, okay, to make such um, connections, now, is it because I'm also busy? There can be that. But I see a different thing here and I say, this is a smart person. You know what? Socially, if you hold back sometimes and if you listen more, I consider that smarter. Now, obviously to each, you know, what their own persona and to what extent do we also not talk? You know, sometimes there are those people who in social settings, and I'm not making fun, guys, 
who will not initiate a conversation? I mean, I know people like that who you could sit at a table with for like a half hour. And if you don't open them up, then they won't. So I'm not describing that. I'm describing someone who's able to actually listen more, understand more, kind of like the charioteer, if that's a even word, and uh, plan accordingly at the area of hidden feelings. Well, attractive personality, they know that, okay? They do not, they know that, but uh, maybe coming from an area of, um, I'm, I'm so qualified for this. I, I know my own worth. Um, I don't have to do much more really to, uh, you know, what to attract or to explain or to clarify. So what I would say, Scorpio here is again, beg the open conversation, beg the open conversation. This is a sentimental energy, if you will. This is someone who will be fluid. This is someone who should tell you a little bit more about their own personal growth and their own mindset in the deepest, darkest parts of it. There's, there's a little more of a discussion to be had. Now, you being the investigative that you are, you are not going to have this direct back and forth, right? This takes time. But let's understand more why there is a little bit of maybe, maybe shyness towards social life, towards, you know what, um, a few others being around in that space. Or is it just a founded opinion on a particular group of people where we do not want to associate? So that could be coming up too. At any rate, quite balanced, leaning more, okay, leaning more towards a secretive, a little bit secretive idealist, okay, someone who has great ambitions, someone who has great hopes, great intentions, but are we communicating them? Mm, maybe not. Let's try and understand them more and let's see what I can do for you guys next reading. Now, it will never be the same persona, obviously, but with every reading, we get a new idea, I hope. All righty, guys. I hope you guys liked our reading. Let me know what you thought. Drop me a line. And as always, Scorpio, I want you to know we do love you madly. And bye for now, guys.